So, Mario, what is Anritsu showcasing at this year's CTI event? We're showcasing our new LinkMaster uh, drive test uh, uh, set of tools. So we have both a collection tool and a post-processing tool, and now we also have a scanning receiver that we can use in conjunction with uh, both tools. So what are some of the benefits to the carriers and uh, uh, equipment installers using this um, uh, piece of equipment? So it gives them a really good view of what's happening in the network from a user perspective. And also with the scanner now, we get what we call the independent view. So it scans the RF spectrum and compares the two. Um, also, it's very easy to use and, uh, and efficient for the, for the customer to, to basically get their job done. Okay, so you got three pieces of equipment here uh, at a high level. What's each piece of the equipment doing? Okay, so first we have our LinkMaster, what we call LinkMaster LML, so our logging tool. So this is the what we call traditionally the drive test tool. It goes out and uh, the user goes out and, and connects different UEs, smartphones, uh, modems, and drive tests to the network. We also then, in conjunction, use the LinkMaster receiver to compare that UE performance to what is out there in the RF spectrum. Um, and now you can run it on a, either a laptop or on now on a tablet We're running Windows 7 or 8. And this is actually very um, key right now due to uh, the fact that uh, there's a lot of neutral host DAS deployment going on. So that is the reason we also run it on a tablet. And then over here, we have our LinkMaster LMA, which is our analysis tool, and that is used to post-process the data that's been collected during the day, and then the engineers can actually then look at all of the different parameters and find out what, uh, what changes they need to make to the network to make sure that they don't have drop calls, block calls, um, and, or they have uh, improved the data throughput that the customers are, are expecting. Well, Mayo, let's start with the tablet. Maybe give us a, a closer look at what the, the product does and how uh, make sure to mention how folks use it. Okay, so a again, you would connect. Um, right now, I'm hooked up with this USB hub. I'm connected to both the receiver and I have a LTE modem connected. And uh, the tool will go ahead and, and work for both indoor and outdoor applications. Um, we collect, uh, let me see if I can get these kind of a little bigger. So in this case, I'm collecting my layer three messaging. I could actually click on individual messages and decode them. Um, I also have access to, for a sec, my signal graph, so I'm looking at RF performance. Basically, there's a, a lot of measurements that are captured in the background. A lot of the times, though, the user doesn't need to see everything. They just need to look at key performance uh, indexes. In this case, we're looking at RSSI for LTE, RSRP, RSRQ, uh, and then there's some transmit uh, values that I, I put in there. Just to give you an example of what's available on just this view alone, I can go into the configure menu. There we go. And so all of these values are available, but they're, they're still being collected in the background, but usually you don't need to see that all at, at once. So, so they can customize the view that they so want. So who, who cares the most about this information? Who on the carrier side cares the most about this information? Typically it's the for performance engineering groups. It could also be if you're doing any um, um, baseline against your competitors. It, 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 you want to drive test with all of the different mobile phones for, you know, against, uh, so all of the major carriers in the market would will, will do that. So you just compare how good the uh, voice, uh, um, uh, setting up voice calls versus data calls. So you usually be doing one voice phone, one data call for each carrier, or for their own network, they're looking to see that performance uh, that they're expecting from their customers. Okay. Thank you. Uh, one other thing that we do over here that uh, for now it's unique for us is that we actually also capture Wi-Fi information. So the, the advantage of this is you don't have to carry two different tools when you're doing any DAS network deployments. You can actually just do it all within the LinkMaster platform. So both the LTE, CDMA, EVDO, WCDMA, HSPA+, GSM, and now Wi-Fi. Is there anything else you want to show us today? Sure. We also have our LinkMaster LMA on the laptop. So this is the post-processing tool. Let's step over here. And um, so what I did already loaded a map on here of a walk. Yep. The, the, the nice thing about our, our tool on both sides is you can actually load multiple floors, especially when you're doing an indoor solution. So this will work both outdoor and indoor. Yep. And, um, and then on the, uh, you can easily switch back and forth between the different floors here. And once, 
So this guy is actually optimized for our solution. Uh, there are a lot of other post-processing tools that we actually work with, with, work with our logging tool, but this one's specific to ours. So it is optimized for that. And you said this works both indoors and outdoors. Correct, so it allows you to, we support Google Maps, so if you're doing a macro network, you can just use Google Maps, you don't have to worry about uh, buying anything uh, extra. Um, really easy to use, as I mentioned earlier, you just do a right click. I'm going to do, in this case, uh, what they call a time graph. I'm doing RSSI. Now if I want to look at some other parameters, I'm going to scroll down here to my uh, uh, signal to noise ratio. Let's put it in. I'm going to go into my RSRP, click it in there. I can also synchronize all my data. So if I click on one spot here, let's see if I go. This allowed me to see what? where it's actually going in another, in another map. So if I click here, you'll see it showing up on, the, on here. Now the other things that we can do are things like our, we can do a grid. So if you want to do, again, straight analysis of comparisons, you just keep drag and drop. So that's the, the, the ease of use of the product. And for making reports, it's the same thing. You can also then just do a uh, uh, statistical chart. So how often does somebody show up? You can actually then switch this over to a, a, a bar graph. So pretty simply, again, this, uh, this allows a, a, an engineer to create the reports that their managers usually uh, want extremely quickly and uh, saves them a lot of time. So, um, so we've had a lot of uh, um, customers who have used this in the past and they always uh, uh, like the ease of use. They also like the, the efficiency of the product that uh, basically lim uh, uh, limits the amount of time they need for doing the work. Is this mostly used uh, during the launch, or is it also used uh, on ongoing maintenance it's, management? It's continuous. So at launch, so you're baselining uh, sectors or base stations, and then also one because the the networks are always continuously changing. They're adapting based on on usage patterns, or when they ever they add new cell sites. So you're always going back and forth and and uh, op basically optimizing clusters of cells. Mayor, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.